G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. I want to have a quick look at these flush trimming bits. They're a really handy router bit that allows you to duplicate a master pattern or a master piece that you've created. So if you have one sort of shape that you've made that you like, you can then use this to create exactly the same shape multiple times in similar pieces of timber. When you're using a router bit that has a bearing on it, the purpose of the bearing is to follow a template or a piece that you've created that you're happy with to get exactly the same face on another piece. Now the reason that you might place the bearing at the end instead of at the base, like on these standard straight bits with a bearing, is that you want to follow a template that's actually underneath the workpiece that you're working on. To demonstrate the way that I use these flush trimming bits, I decided to create myself a few push sticks out of timber. First, I traced my template out of one that I bought earlier from Timbercon. And then I cut that out with a bandsaw as neatly as I can. You have to be careful, it's a little bit slower. I then sanded the whole thing so it feels like the piece that I want to ultimately end up with. Secondly, I cut a few of these much more roughly on the bandsaw, just did it half the time, have quite a rough edge, but the cut has to be on the outside of that trace line. And this is what you're ultimately going to end up cutting with. This is going to be your template. To make this work, you place your template down first, you clamp your large piece, the rough cut one, on top of that so that the edges just overhang. You clamp that whole piece down. Then you use the flush trimming bit with the bearing on the bottom. The bearing is going to be touching that reference piece the whole way around and the blade is going to be in contact with the rougher cut bit just on top and that'll give you a perfect duplication. Alright, for this little demo, I just used one of these quarter inch flush trimming bits in my small router, little trimming router, I did a great job, created a perfect copy, and also the edge that the router created was heaps smoother than the edge that I was able to get on the bandsaw with a bit of sanding. So if I was doing lots and lots of these, the initial template that I used on the bandsaw probably wouldn't even end up being used because the finish created by the router is just so much smoother. Torcada have a few varieties of flush trimming bits. The one I just used was their standard variety, they're the most economical, they have two blades, carbide blades, uh, they come in a quarter or a half inch shank. The blades are just directly straight up and down, perpendicular to the piece of work, and it's perfectly suitable for lighter work. This is a, a soft wood, it was only 19mm thick and I wasn't cutting terribly deep, it worked perfectly for that. The next one in the range is their heavy duty flush trimming bits. They still have two blades, but the blades are raked at a negative angle. What that means is that as the blade comes in contact with the wood, it's one part of the blade at a time, it just creates a smoother cut. The shank is also a lot larger, which also helps with the smoothness of the cut, and you can do much heavier work, either larger pieces or heavier timber, such as like hard recycled timber, and that will be perfect for you know, larger pieces that you need to reduce. The third variety are these ultimate flush trimming router bits. Rather than two blades on the shank, they have three. The shank is also 22 mm thick rather than 19, and so that is just going to be a stronger bit with a smoother cut. Uh, the blades, like the last piece, are raked at a negative angle, so that helps with the speed that it can cut and the finish, the smoothness of the finish. Most of these router bits come with, can come with a bearing at the bottom as well as the top if you want that extra versatility. Having a bearing on the top of the router bit as well as the bottom just adds to the versatility of the bit. It means you can reference a piece on the bottom of what you're trying to trim or on the top without having to change bits or add bearings and take them off. Uh, well that little push stick I made is just one of the 
thousands of things you can do with one of these flush trimming bits. You'll find all kinds of uses for them, just use your creativity. Uh, they're super handy all around the shop. Well, Torcata flush trimming bits are available exclusively from Timbercon. You can grab them online at timbercon.com.au or off the back of that trailer.